Well, hey there, guys and gals. I'm Colin from fruitsofspirit.com, and I'm going to tell you a story today. Today's story is about counting the cost of becoming a disciple of Jesus. One day, Jesus decided to tell all the people that were following him what it would cost to be his disciple. He started by saying this, If anyone comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brother and sister, yes, even their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. And later he says, In the same way, those of you who do not give up everything that you have cannot be my disciples. These seem like some pretty hard and pretty radical statements. But does this mean Jesus really wants us to hate our friends, family, and even our own lives? How about when he says we have to give up everything? What does that mean? And he mentions having a cross. What is Jesus talking about? Well, we're going to come back to that. But in between these two statements, Jesus tells two stories. In the first story, he says, If someone wanted to build a tower, wouldn't he figure out how much it was going to cost before he started? Wouldn't he find out if he had enough money to finish it? If he didn't, he may start building and run out of money on the way, and everyone would make fun of him for starting what he couldn't finish. In the next story, he said, Or if there was a king with 10,000 soldiers going to war against another kingdom with 20,000 soldiers, wouldn't he find out if it was possible to win the war with these 10,000 men? And if not, wouldn't he go out to find terms of peace? So in these two stories, Jesus is telling us that when we decide to follow him, we need to count the cost. We need to see if we're ready to do what he's asking us to do. But what is he asking us to do? Well, let's go back to the things he said before and after these stories. We'll get right back to the story in a second, but really quick, I just want to let you guys know that we're super glad that you're here. If you'd like to get a free coloring page of the illustration that you're seeing drawn on this video, please do stick around to the end and we'll let you know how. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please do consider subscribing to our channel. All right, let's get back to the stories. Jesus tells us to hate our friends, families, and even our own lives. Surely he doesn't want us to hate everyone. And it's true that he doesn't. In fact, he commands us to love others. So what does he mean? Well, he wants us not to love anyone else in the same way that we love God. He tells us to carry our cross. This means we are willing to go through hard times for Jesus. And he says that we need to give up everything. To explain this a little more, I want to tell you a story. One day I was in a country called Ghana, and I met these two men that were from another religion. I started to share with them about Jesus, and after some time they were interested, but they weren't sure if they were ready to accept him. I got their phone numbers and said I would call them back in a week. So after a week, I called one of them back, not sure what would have happened. On the phone I asked him, Hey, what are you thinking about Jesus? He started to list off thing after thing, like his family, his job, his standing in society, all the things that he would lose if he accepted Jesus, all the things that would be taken from him. He even listed that he might lose his life for accepting Jesus. And as I'm sitting there thinking, what can I tell him to say that it's worth it? He stopped and he said, but I want Jesus. And you know, this is what Jesus is asking from all of us. He wants our whole lives. He wants to know that we're ready to let go of anything to follow after him. So this man's decision isn't different from our own. If we want to follow Jesus, we need to be ready to follow him anyway. When I decided to follow Jesus, Jesus asked me to give up one big thing in my life and that was video games. I loved video games. I would spend all of my time playing them. But Jesus told me that if I wanted to follow him, I would need to put him first, and I couldn't continue playing those games. So in order to follow Jesus, I had to let those things go. But you know, here's the cool thing about Jesus, is he's not coming into this world and coming into our lives to take away all the fun, but actually what he wants to do is give us something even better. Once I started following him, I was able to see just how amazing it was to live life with him. I was able to see that that was the reason I was created, 
was to walk with him and tell others about him. Are you ready to follow Jesus? Thank you all so much for sticking around through this video. I hope that you enjoyed the stories of counting the cost of following after Jesus. As promised, we've got a free coloring page available on our website, fruitsofspirit.com. Once again, that's www.fruitsofspirit.com. Also, if you guys enjoyed this content, please do consider subscribing to our channel as well as liking this video. It really helps us out a bunch and we'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much.